Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Please welcome to the stadium the two teams this afternoon, Kent and Sheffield and Hampshire. We were obviously the runners up last year to Birmingham and uh, we wanted to put it right this year. So our preparation for this season started 10 minutes after the final whistle last year. We had a couple of training sessions before, which was fantastic, and then we met, we met up last night for an overnight, but uh, we didn't train the players this morning, which we did last year. We just let them chill out and, uh, and relax, and the whole thing was just totally different. We took 16 players. Last year we had 18 players and had to leave two out in the morning, so we did have to make some tough decisions. We like to play football, certainly looking at the way Sheffield likes to play football. I thought we started well, we had two long throws and we'd, we'd actually worked on that in training and we had lads who could throw the ball and we thought we'd catch them early. And we had a couple of half chances which on another day may have gone in but the keepers made a couple of good saves. We had the first probably 15-20 minutes of the game and, and we wanted to score, we were desperate to get a goal because Birmingham scored early against us last year and we were always chasing the game. It didn't come, but I felt that we probably shaded the first half until they had a very, very good chance towards the end where our keepers pulled off a fantastic save. second half again was, was a little bit scrappy, um, I don't think we created a great deal, what we did create, again, their keeper has made a couple of good saves. They will rue the missed chance halfway through the second half where I think they had three bites of the cherry and it never quite went in. We threw an Andy Miller with what probably 20 minutes to go and said go and get us a goal and he delivered. Kent substitution in place in number 7 Steve Brading, number 14 Andrew Miller. I said to Miller when I sent him out, he knew he was our last sort of pick really and I just said to him you owe us a goal and in fairness to the boy he's gone out there and proved his worth. I didn't, I didn't see it, I, I think it took a wicked deflection, you know, fair play to him and hats off, his attitude was spot on, he didn't moan, he was on the bench and when he was asked to come and do a job, what more can you do but score the winning goal in the cup final. could have made it 2 new at the end when Sam Cliff hit the crossbar so all in all I think we shaded it I mean I'm bound to say that but you know at the end of the day I thought over the 90 minutes we just about deserved to win.
congratulations to Kent on winning the FA County Youth Cup for the first time in their history. Well done, Kent. You know we were obviously the runners up last year to Birmingham and uh, we wanted to put it right this year so I have to say first off that I know how the Sheffield guys are feeling because that's exactly what we were feeling like last year but we didn't want that feeling again and fair play to my players, they said they would come back and win it and they've gone and done that so absolutely over the moon. First time in our history for Kent, can't be prouder. over three years ago and I had a three year plan and that three year plan was to win the FA County Youth Cup we've succeeded with that now, great achievement for the players and it's for those boys so I've had those boys, some of those boys for three years and I just can't tell you, and for our, our people upstairs, we, we've had great support from the county, our president um, Colin Boswell has been fantastic and Keith Master, this is his last year as Chief Exec of Kent, he retires next January and we kind of did it for them as well, it's a team effort and uh, absolutely loved every second of it